Hello friends and welcome to a new session with edupediaworld.com your favorite portal for online education continuing with measures of dispersion let's take up the next topic and that is the mean deviation mean deviation is the measure of dispersion of second type where we find the average of deviation of individual data from any central value and we term it as average of second order. To recall we have already seen the measure of dispersions of first type termed as the distance measure where we used to find the distance between any two observations which could be the maximum and the minimum as in case of range or the third and the first quartile as in the case of quartile deviation or any two percentile values say P90 and P10 as in case of the percentile deviation. Mean deviation is the arithmetic mean of the absolute deviations of observations from a central value like mean, median or mode. Here the dispersion in each observation is measured by its deviation from a central value. Let's understand this say we have a set of data where we have a certain number of observations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What we do is we first find the average of these observations. Let's say this is the average which could be either arithmetic mean or median or mode then we have these values let me call this as x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and so on we measure the distance between the mean and each of these observations so this is the first distance the second and so on on both the sides now we have the values positive here and we have the values negative of course when we add them to find the average of the distances the positives and the negatives would negate each other therefore what we do is we take the mod over the difference so it's simply the summation of the mod of x i's minus any of the uh, arithmetic uh, the central values which could be arithmetic mean median or mode and then to take average we divide it by the total number of observations very simple yeah so let's take up the formula first and then we will take uh, uh, some questions for practice so here are the formula when you have the raw data the arithmetic mean uh, sorry the mean deviation from the arithmetic mean would be 1 by n summation of the observations from 1 to n mod of x i minus x bar similarly the mean deviation from the median would be 1 by n summation mod of the difference between individual observations and the mode and in case of sorry individual observations and the median and in case of mode we will just replace this by mode. This is the case when we have raw data. What if we have frequency distribution? Mm, either grouped or ungrouped. We simply have capital N which is the summation of the frequency here in place of the uh, number of observations and we multiply the difference with the corresponding value of the frequency here. So this is the formula when we have grouped or ungrouped frequency distribution. And what about the coefficient values? It's simple. If we have to find the coefficient of mean deviation from the arithmetic mean, what we do is we simply divide what we have found just now, that is the mean deviation from the arithmetic mean, by the arithmetic mean itself. In case if we have taken the mean deviation from median then the coefficient would be mean deviation value from the co median which we had calculated divided by the median. 
and in case if it is from mode then it would be mean deviation from mode divided by the mode now we have an alternate formula also these formulas stated above are convenient only if the relevant measure of central value is a whole number what if we have a decimal so when it is not a whole number we use the alternate formula and in fact it is the same formula but worked in a way that it becomes easy to when the numbers are decimals let me give you the formula for these without going through the working so the mean deviation value from arithmetic mean let me write symbolically like this would be equal to 1 divided by n the number of data times the sum of observations greater than the mean minus sum of observations less than the mean minus number of observations greater than the mean minus number of observations less than the mean times the mean itself yeah so let me explain it once and then I'll write it for arithmetic uh, for the median and mode so here what we do is first we find the arithmetic mean okay if the mean happens to be a whole number we go to the first formula which we had seen just now if it is not a whole number then we take the second formula okay and in place of mean in case if we have median we have we do the same treatment or the mode we have the same treatment so what we do is say for instance we have got the value of uh, mean as a decimal say 15.5 then we take up all the observations we divide in fact our data data line say we've got the mean here 15.5 we divide it into two parts those greater than and those less than the mean we find the sum of these we find the number of these we find the sum of these we find the number of these okay and then we put that in this formula as it is shown here very simple your calculation becomes easier okay let me write the formula for the other two that is for median and mode now it's very trivial what we do is we just replace the means by medians and means by mode in the respective cases okay so mean deviation from median would be 1 divided by n multiplied by sum of observations greater than median minus sum of observations less than the median minus number of observations greater than the median minus number of observations uh, less than the median multiplied by median and that's it similarly in case of mode it would be 1 by n followed by sum of observations greater than mode minus sum of observations less than the mode minus number of observations greater than the mode minus number of uh, observations less than the mode multiplied by the mode okay so these are the formula which we have to find the mean deviation once again if we have the whole number we go to these formula which we had discussed 
initially and if we have a decimal as the central value we take up the formula which are given here all right so now let's take some numerical questions and try working it out let's start with raw data uh, let's say we have a set of data which could be the marks or which could be the height of say 10 persons let me take n equal to 10 and the data are observations are mm, say 60 62 69 70 63 65 60 68 63 and 64 let's say we have these 10 observations and we need to find the mean deviation from arithmetic mean mean deviation from median mode whichever is possible and their coefficient values so let's do it of course to find the mean what we do we find the sum of the observations and divide by the number of observations which is 10 now here when we add them up and divide by 10 we get 64.4 okay now this happens to be uh, not a whole number therefore let's divide this set of data into two parts and sum them up so let's take sum of the data greater than the mean here and let's write down the numbers which are greater than the mean uh, it's 69 70 65 68 only 4 and then some of the observations which are less than the mean are 60 62 63 again 60 63 and 64 okay and when we take the summation over these it comes out to be 272 and here this is 372 okay similarly the number of observations greater than the mean are 4 and the number of observations less than the mean are 6 now let's put that in the formula here mm. so the mean first we have 1 by n so it will be 1 by 10 okay this is your mean deviation from arithmetic mean 1 by 10 multiplied by 272 minus 372 minus 4 minus 6 multiplied by 64.4 yeah and when we calculate this we get the value as 2.88 this is your mean deviation from arithmetic mean and to find the coefficient what we do the coefficient would be this value that is 2.88 8 divided by 64.4 and that happens to be 0 0.045 okay so this is your coefficient in the same way now let's take the case of median now to find the median we will have to arrange the set of data into ascending or descending order so when we do that and take the middle values since the total number of data n is 10 an even number we will have two middle values which are so let me do the me sorry the median will be the two middle values will be 63 and 64 we add them and divide by 2 to get the median and so the median will be 63.5 so when we take the sum of values greater than the median there are five of them 63.5 above 63.5 are 69 70 65 68 and 64 okay so number are five and when we add them up we get 336 summation okay and the number is five 
similarly summation of values less than median would be let me write the values these are 60 62 63 twice and 60 once again so when we add them up we get mm, 308 and again the number is equal to 5 so now let's put this in the formula here so when we find mean deviation from median this will be first 1 by 10 multiplied by uh, greater than values are 336 minus 308 minus 5 minus 5 times 63.5 okay this becomes 0 so it's simply 336 minus 308 divided by 10 and that happens to be 2.8 okay and the coefficient will be equal to 2.8 divided by 63.5 and that is 0 0.041 okay so this is the coefficient value this is the absolute value of mean deviation from median and these are the corresponding values for mean deviation from mean mean deviation from mode of course here we see that it's not well defined but the once we get the value of mode I mean mean median or mode the process after that is trivial and it's the same with all the three so that was the treatment with raw data and here we had seen that both the mean and the median were decimals and we used the second form of the formula we are yet to practice the first form and we need to practice a couple of questions with frequency distribution so we shall take up these in the upcoming videos keep watching Edupedia World videos thank you